Hello everyone. In this video, we will discuss about the comparison operator in JavaScript. And this comparison operator behaves very differently in JavaScript as compared to other programming languages. If you have already, if, or if you already have some experience regarding the C, C++ or Java as a programming language, that you will find out that in case of JavaScript, there are a lot of places where this comparison operators behaves differently. That is why it is important to discuss about the comparison operator while discussing about the JavaScript. Okay, so we'll take uh, the comparison operators here and we'll see what are the basic differences between all the comparison operators and as well as what is new that is introduced in case of JavaScript as compared to C, C++ and these programming languages. Now I've taken most of the content that is present in this PPT from uh, the javascript.info website. So if you want to download or if you want to check out the content present in this PPT, then you can also go to the website which is javascript dot info some good uh, resources i found over there so i've used some of the content from the website and if you want to download this ppt you can also go to the download section on our website regarding this ppt or you can also check out our courses section so we have created comprehensive courses for gate ugc net as well as your uh, pgt examination so it can be kbs pgt it can be dt plus or any straight uh, PGT examinations. So we have created comprehensive courses for GATE, UGC NET and PGT examination. Now let us start in this video and in this video we will be discussing about the comparison operator in JavaScript. So let us start one by one. So we have already seen some of the basic comparison operators from various uh, uh, disciplines. For example, in mathematics also we have seen the comparison operators. For example, we have A greater than equal to greater than B or A is less than B. So as the name suggests, they behave the same. And we have also seen the comparison operators where we use greater than equal to or less than equal to. And we have seen double equal to sign. So you, if you remember that in case of C and C++ programming language and in case of Java also, when we do A single equal to B, that means whatever the value stored in B, I'm going to assign that value to A. So this is, if you use single equal to, that means it is assignment. This is assignment. And if you use double equal to, that means if we have A double equal to B, that means we are doing comparison. This is comparison. So assignment and comparison both, uh, for both of them we use different operators. So this is considered as one single operator, which is a comparison operator. And this is called as an assignment operator. A part of this we had some other basic operators also like a less than equal to b, a greater than equal to b or a less than b or a greater than b and so on. There were some basic comparison operators that were over there. In the same way we can use a not equal to b. So these comparison operators, if you use some basic mathematical values or basic mathematics, they are going to behave uh, same. For example, if I say 5 less than 6, so this is going to return as a true because 5 is less than 6. So this is very basic thing, right? So we do not uh, have to study all these basic th things. I've created this presentation to show you the difference between the comparison operators. If you use comparison operator with the special data types, for example, here we have undefined as a special data type. Here we have null as a special data type. A part of this, we can also use comparison operators with strings also. So we create this PPT to understand what is the difference between the comparison operators. If you use the comparison operators with PPTs and all these special data types. Okay. So uh, about the Boolean operations. So the result of the comparison operation is always Boolean. That is true or false. For example, if I say we have a is equal to 5 and we have b is equal to 6. So this 5 and 6 both are integer numbers. If I do alert a less than b. In that case, the result of this will be true, which is a Boolean value. So it is going to return a Boolean value or Boolean output as a result. So most of these comparison operators are going to return the result as true or they are going to return the result as false true means one or false means zero in C language but we'll see what is the meaning of true and false in JavaScript. Now look at this basic example here. Here in this case I'm using integer values for example if I do alert 2 is greater than 1 which is a true value therefore it is going to return a value which is true. 
If I do two double equal to one, that means I'm comparing their values. So the result will be false. If I do two not equal to one, that means the result will be true because the value of two is not equal to one. In the same way, we can also assign this result. For example, if I create let result is equal to five greater than four. So five greater than four, this uh, condition is true. Hence, in the case of result, true will be assigned. But if you want to check what is the type of result, so type of result will become Boolean. So Boolean means it is a Boolean variable. Now we can also compare two different strings in case of JavaScript. For example, I want to compare whether Himanshu is greater than Shalini or not. So this is a string. As you can see, Himanshu is a string and Shalini is a string. So we are going to compare these two uh, different strings with the comparison operators and that is also possible in JavaScript. So this this was not possible like this in case of C and C++ programming languages as well as in case of uh, uh, Java also the comparison of strings is not possible like this. But in this case what happens is we are going to take their lexical graphical ordering. So what we are going to do is uh, we are going to check the first character that is H with s whether h is greater than s or not and then we'll check the second character if these two characters are having same precedence i mean same uh, values then we are going to check i with h and so on so we are going to check every character in a dictionary order or a lexical graphically order so whatever happens in your dictionary how the characters are arranged or how the strings are arranged in the dictionary the same happens here but the only difference is here we are going to take the unicode values so you remember that capital A is having a Unicode value of 65, capital B is having a Unicode value of 66. In the same way, we have capital Z which is having a Unicode value of 190. Sorry, uh, this is 90. In the same way, small a is having a Unicode value which is uh, 97. Small b is having a Unicode value which is 98. In the same way, small z is having a Unicode value which is 120. So we are going to compare these strings on the basis of their Unicode values that in and they are, we are going to check them according to the dictionary order. So what happens is, see this algorithm is like this, compare the first character of both the strings. So first character is H and the second character, here the first character is S. So compare both of these characters. If the first one is greater or less, then the string is greater or less then the second one so if the first character is greater than the second this character then we can say the first string is greater and if the first character here is smaller than uh, is smaller than this then we say the first string is less or smaller now if both of these two characters are same then we'll check with the second character so otherwise if the first characters are equal then compare the second character in the same way repeat until the end of the string so this is how we are going to compare two strings in case of JavaScript. So in case of JavaScript, we can compare strings. We can ap apply the comparison operators over the strings. But the only difference is here we are going to take the Unicode values and we are going to compare them according to the lexicographical ordering or you can say the dictionary ordering. Now check out this example. In this case, I have taken some JavaScript code. So we have alert whether Z is greater than capital A and here Z is representing a string. Remember it is not representing a character. It is representing a string as well as this A is also representing a string. Both of them are representing a string. Now because Z is having a higher value in a lexical graphical ordering that is why uh, this is true. So if you remember that A is having a Unicode value which is 65, B is having a Unicode value 66, C is having a Unicode value 67. In the same way capital Z is having a Unicode value which is 90. So hence here you can say this Z is having a Unicode value which is 90 which is greater than A. Hence this is true which is Z is greater than A. Now if you ch check the second case here what happens is we are going to check the very first character with the, sec the very first character here so G and capital G both are same then we will check the second character N and L both are same then we will check the third character here the third character is O and E but if you remember this this is small a and this is small o and this is small a so small a is having a value which is uh, 97 B C D E F G H I J K L M N and O. So all these are having smaller values. So 96, 7, 98, 99, uh, 100 
and this is e is having a value which is 101 so 102 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 so it is having the value which is 111 so you can see this o is having a uh, unicode value is 111 and this e is having a unicode value which is 101 so because uh, this is having a higher unicode value hence we can say the first string is greater than the second string therefore the result is true now in the third case when we have b double e whether this b double e is greater than b e now you can check here uh, the first two characters are same but here because we are having a third character also that means the length of the first string is greater than the second string that is why the first string is greater okay so this is how we apply the lexicographical ordering to compare two strings in case of javascript so the same content i have he written here that uh, two, two strings are compared according to their dictionary order the only thing is uh, their compared according to their unicode value for example capital a is having a unicode value of 65 and small a is having a unicode value of 97 so hence we can say small a is greater than capital a in the same way capital z is having a unicode value of 90 and small z is having a unicode value of 122 hence we can say small z is greater than capital z so they are going to compare these two strings according to their unicode values now check out this example here so in this example we have taken two things so in the first case we have alert uh, 2 as a string is greater than 1 okay now what happens is if these are of two different types then the string is converted to a number now here we have 0 2 and 0 2 when you are going to use this comparison operator so this will be converted to a number so this 0 2 will become 2 hence 2 is greater than 1 so this is going to return a true value this is important because here the, here this point onwards so there is a difference with that is in javascript as compared to the java or c c++ programming language because in c c++ these things doesn't happen like this okay now in the second case here again we have a string so because we are using a comparison operator and this is a number therefore this will be converted to number so it will be converted to number so it will be converted to a number which is one and we can say one is equal to one hence this is also going to return a value which is true okay now when we uh, compare with the boolean values so a true value is compared with a numerical value one so this true value is converted to one hence one is equal to one that is also true and this false value is converted to a number zero that is zero equal to zero is true but what if we do something like this alert true double equal to five now in this case this is a number and this is a boolean value so this boolean value will be converted to a number and its number numerical value will be one so one is uh, double equal to one this is going to return a value which is false but if we do true double equal to one that is going to return a value which is true now what is the consequence of this so you can check if we do let a is equal to zero so this zero is a uh, numerical value so if you check this numerical value now this will return a false because zero means false okay and if we do b is equal to string zero now if we do a true value of this so we have already seen this that this string is having a length that is greater than zero so if a string is having a length that is greater than zero if you convert that string so that is going to convert in case of true but what if we do let b is equal to opening bracket and closing bracket okay so that means uh, b is a string but there is no characters here so there's a difference between this if i do let b is equal to opening bracket space closing bracket so that means here one character is there which is space character and here space character is also not there so because the length here length of the string length of b is uh, zero hence if you convert this boolean b if you convert this b into boolean so it is going to return a false value but in this case because the length is greater than zero hence if you do boolean b in this case it is going to return a value that is true so 
if you do if you're doing let b is equal to uh, double inverted comma zero that means it is a string and the length of the string is greater than one hence if you convert this into form of boolean then it is going to return a true value and here in this case it is going to return a false value but what happens when we are going to use the comparison operator so this a is having a numerical value zero and this b is having a string value which is also zero now in this case this string will be converted to a number so we are comparing 0 with 0 hence the result will be true but if you check their values individually so this is going to return a false and this is all going to return a true value so it is behaving very differently as compared to c and c plus plus programming languages now we have one more special type of operator which is a strict equality operator and this strict equality operator does not uh, um, is not there in case of C and C++ so this is a regular equality operator so when do regular there are two kinds of equality operators so we have regular which is having double equal to marks and then we have strict which is having triple equal to mark so in case of regular equality operator if you are going to compare 0 with false so this false will be converted to a number which is 0 so 0 is equal to 0 hence it is going to return a true value in the same way here we are having a string and the length of the string is 0 so because the length of the string is 0 hence it will be converted to a numerical value which is 0 and this false will also be converted to a numerical value which is 0 so 0 is compared with 0 hence the result is going to be true but what if we do not want it to work like this in that case how will this behave so here you can see I have uh, presented this uh, strict equality operator so in the case of strict equality operator we are going to use three equality operators okay so three in this case so normal or uh, equality operator is like this and here we, this is called as a strict equality operator in the case of strict equality operator if this and this their types are different for example here this is a num numerical type or you can say this is a number and this is a boolean type this is a false value or boolean type if their types are different then it is going to return a false value hence here it will return a false value but what if we write something like this zero double equal to false in that case this will be implicitly converted to a number so hence zero double equal to a number which is going to return a value true okay so zero double equal to zero which is going to return a value zero but if you do zero triple equal to false that means it is going to return a value false because their types are not same now then we have this comparison operator here so as you can see here I'm using a triple equality operator so obviously double equal to behaves very differently in this case also if you do null double equal to undefined that is the result will be different and we do null triple equal to undefined the result will be different in this case this null is a data type so it is a different data type and undefined is a different data type because their data types are different hence it is going to return a false value now check out the next case here so here i'm using uh, this double equal to mark so because that we are using double equal to marks in that case if you compare null with undefined that is going to return a value which is true now check out this example here this is a very interesting example try to find out the result of this example in the first case i'm comparing null is greater than zero the second case I'm comparing null double equal to zero. In the third case I'm comparing null is greater than or equal to zero. Now I try to compare their values and try to predict the result. Then let us see what is the result of this comparison. So now in this case, as you can see, this is a special case here. So in the very first statement, you are going to get uh, null greater than zero. It is going to return a false value. When you do null double equal to zero, again, it is returning a false value. When you do null greater than or equal to zero, then it is returning a true value because these comparison operator, which is the equality operator and the comparison operator, they work very differently. Equality is different and comparison is different. In case of equality operator, so this in this equality operator, when you do null double equal to undefined in that case it is going to return a true value but if you compare null with anything else it is going to return a false value for example if you do null double equal to zero it is going to return a false value if you do null double equal to one again it is going to return a false value because here it is defined differently 
okay but when you do a comparison operator like this so comparison operators are uh, different because comparison operators convert them into numbers okay so uh, for null and undefined this is different so comparison operators com convert them in the form of numbers so this is going to convert to a number 0 so 0 is greater than or equal to 0 hence the result will be uh, true but here in this case 0 is not greater than or equal to 0 hence the result is false but this case null cannot be compared with uh, this 0 because null can only be compared with undefined so if you do null double comparison with undefined that is going to return a value true but if you compare it with anything else then it's going to return a value which is false now you can see undefined is also uncomparable so you can see in the very first statement we have alert undefined is greater than zero that is going to return false alert undefined less than zero that is also going to return false and alert undefined is double equal to zero that is also going to return false because undefined returns a special value which is nan or you can say not a valid value and if you convert this undefined in the form of number it is going to convert nan convert to a value which is nan which is saying uh, not a valid value so this is a summary of all the operations here so comparison operators returns a logical value which is uh, either true or false it can returns either true or it can return the value false now strings are compared letter by letter which is in the dictionary order but in this case we could take the unicode values now when the values of different types are compared they get converted to numbers with exclusion to strict equality so if you do double equal to in that case uh, if we have different types of values then they are going to convert to numbers now the values null and undefined uh, both equals each other but they do not equal anything else this is a special case this is a special case okay so uh, let me just give a small example here so that you can practice for your practice purposes now this is an example for your practice purposes so take this example and try to see if uh, you can find out the correct uh, output of these statements or not so let me give you an example here uh, the output of these statements so the very first case when we have 5 is greater than 4 that is true because uh, they, they are going to check the numerical values in the second case these are two different strings so we have apple a p p l e and this is also a string so because these are both her strings hence you can see this p is greater than a uh, because it is having a higher unicode value hence this pineapple should be greater than apple so this is false in the third case now this is a special case here if you do 2 greater than 1 2 now this means this is a number and this is a string therefore the string will be converted to a number so that is going to return a value false but because here both of them are string this is also a string and this is also a string so because both of them are strings hence i'm going to check their uh, uh, unicode value so this 2 is having a higher unicode value which is greater than 1 hence it is going to return true value in the next case when you have an undefined uh, double equal to null so this is again a special case here the result will be true but if you do strict equality here so because of the strict equality it is going to return a result which is false and in the next case here because as i told you this undefined and null both are special cases here so null if you try to compare null with anything else any string so it is going to return false here and because here we are using a plus operator so there is going to try and convert this string into a numerical value or you can say num so all the informations are uh, written here i hope this is good enough for your practice purposes but let me just give you one more example one more summary of this entire chapter so let us see in all these cases in the very first case here 20 is a string and 10 is a number now uh, this 20 will be converted to a number hence 20 number is greater than 10 so this is going to return a value which is true in the next case here 0 1 is there so 0 1 is double equal to 1 and this is going to be true because uh, this 0 1 of string is converted to a number in the third case when we have null is less than 10 so this is a comparison operator which is less than operator right so this equality operator and comparison operator both are working differently so in this case this null is less than 10 because null will be converted to a number which is 0 so 0 is less than 10 hence it is true if you do null is greater than 0 that is also false because null is also compared uh, converted to 0 so 0 cannot be greater than 0 in the fourth case here 
you can see undefined is less than equal to zero because undefined if you convert it to number it will be converted to a value which is n a n which is not a valid value so hence the result will be false in the next case we have undefined double equal to zero and this is also false because uh, the equality behaves differently as compared to less than or equal to sign so in case of equality uh, undefined can only be compared to null otherwise everything else it is going to return false so even if you do undefined double equal to one again this is going to return false because undefined can only be compared to null okay then in the next case null double equal to zero that is also false because uh, it can only compared with undefined everything else is false null equal to undefined that is true then we have a true double equal to one that is also true because uh, this will be converted to a number then false double equal to zero that is also true uh, because this will be converted to zero then we have zero double equal to false that is also true if you do uh, this is you can see we have a string which is an empty string so this empty string will be converted to a number which is a value of zero so zero double equal to false is zero because false is also means zero okay and zero triple equal to false is false because these are of different types i hope this video was helpful for you please share uh, with your friends and subscribe to the channel now let us move on to the next video in the same series